Uh, hello and welcome to the new series of Java video tutorials. Uh, those tutorials are mm, for beginner programming uh, users which have no programming experience and want to start learning uh, by learning Java language. So the first thing we need to configure is uh, our minimal development environment so we need to download the JDK Java Development Kit to be able to compile Java programs uh, to the bytecode so let's open our favorite browser and in the search engine let's type JDK for Java Development Kit and we need to go to the Java SE downloads page this is actually on the Oracle at the Oracle which now is the owner of Java here we have two main options JDK and JRE JRE is the Java runtime environment which we probably have already on our computer so we don't need to download it even if we don't have it it is included in JDK so the only thing we need to download here is Java Development Kit JDK. So let's click uh, this link. Now we have to accept the license agreement. All this stuff is free, so you can uh, accept all these those things, you know, no matter. Uh, Linux users can download uh, one of these files or use preferably packet manager or apt-get to install Java on the new system Windows users need one of those two files for a 32-bit system we need x86 uh, version and for 64-bit we need x64 uh, so I have Windows 7 64 bits I will download this file uh, as I have it downloaded I already I cancel it here and uh, after you download the file you have to run it it is quite a uh, big file uh, about uh, 87 megabytes so it is it runs you have to wi wait uh, when it is run r running don't click many times but just patiently wait okay it starts uh, run uh, I have Polish Windows, so you, you may notice some strange text here. No matter, don't worry. <laughs> okay, we proceed with install. And one thing I mm, think is good to change here is to change the path to not install to program files. Because this is name which contains space, which is not very elegant for uh, programming in Java so let's install it in just uh, C Java JDK and click OK next now we are installing Java it takes uh, a while And uh, as you notice, th the name of file is Java JDK 7 U2. This is update 2. Maybe you will have update 3 or 4. Uh, those updates will be incremented in time. Maybe even uh, there will be JDK 8. For now, it is JDK 7 update 2. Okay, it is installed, so continue. Let's see what is next. I have already installed the extension JavaFX, so uh, may if you don't have installed it, it will install. So just uh, click OK and proceed and install JavaFX. We will not use it, but uh, we will install it any anymore. We will uh, install it anyway. OK, this is the page of registration. You, you can register your Java, no matter. Well, uh, now we need to uh, ensure that the Java compiler is in our system path, so we can use it. So let's now click in Start. 
let's type cmd enter and we have system console now you have to type javac for java compiler and now you you notice something like uh, java is not recognized as a command and again this is in polish so don't look at it so if java command is not recognized you have to put it in the system path so what you need to do is now to open your explorer go to java directory c java jdk bin this is important you have to go to bin and let's click uh, right click on any of those files and uh, go to properties and in properties you have to copy the localization of the file so this localization c java jdk bin this is important let's copy it okay now let's go to start my computer right click properties and now go to advanced system settings now environment or variables and we have to set up a new variable here N not in the system pool but in the users user pool just don't do not mess I mess here because you can um, corrupt the system or something like that only uh, do your changes in this area user area so let's click new here we have to type path and here we have to paste what we copied this location of the bin thing <laughs> see java jdk bin okay do not click this sign but ju just click ok 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 and now it is uh, memorized in the system now we go to the system console again so start cmd enter and let's type javac this time it seems okay we have money uh, large output from this file and uh, the uc javac options and source files we can put one more option javac minus version which show shows us which version we are using javac 1.7 is the version we installed so everything is okay we are ready to compile our first program but the it will be covered in the next tutorial so thank you for your attention and see you in the next tutorial